Yo, yo, what's up, tubers? How's it going? Thought I'd make this video because I get asked this a lot, is what skis do I use through the winter? So, I'm going to go through all the different skis, what they're good for, and, yeah, basically just show you guys around. I'm going to film this on the little Zeuntech Rider M and show you guys some of the footage with it. I got it in double-click mode, which is the one that pans down pans up, pans to the side, and pans to the other side, and I'm going to hopefully show you guys some cool ski footage with this. Alright, let's get into it. So, here are my rock skis for the winter. This is the ski that I skied on last year, here for most of the winter for the short turn part of the Hokkaido Champs. Hit a few rocks on it last year and, and now this year at the start of the winter it's been pretty destroyed. So yeah, this is my, my new rock ski. Um, here's my not so much rock ski. I hit a few rocks on it in New Zealand but it's in much better condition. These are my um, recreational slalom skis. I use these most days for teaching just because of the fact that I can go a lot slower and um, do very similar movements to what I would do on this GS ski. This GS ski I just need to ski way faster to do the same thing as on the slalom. And most of my videos are filmed you know in between work or at work or whatever so that's why most of my videos end up with I'm um, skiing a slalom ski. So hopefully that explains it. Here's some little um, ski tires that we got rejected, so hopefully they're going to come out soon. This is my 183 25 meter radius um, GS ski. This was what I'll be using in for the long term part of of the um, of the technical competition. I skied the ski in New Zealand a bit this year, and it's an awesome ski. It's actually um, you know very nice progressive bend. I like it a lot. This is the Shiro, it's a few years old, but as far as I'm concerned, powder skis last forever until you break them because you don't really need good edges on these things and these things have hit a fair amount of rocks in Aspen and, um, you know, they still ski powder exactly the same. So this is the 183 Shiro and next in line is the Vocal 1 in the 186 and, you know, I've got my touring setup on this so I'd like to take this out back country when I have time which I never do but when I will have time that's what I'll do so hopefully this season I might go up Mount Yote which could be pretty cool um, both of these skis have you know full rocker so it's really good for doing slashes and really good for floating and they're pretty fat. I think the Shiro is 119 underfoot and 156 or something at the tip. And this is like 117 underfoot and 136 at the tip. So they're, you know, pretty big skis. And a lot of fun to ski deep snow in. If you like going fast, they're a little bit tricky in the um in the in the trees when it gets real tight because they're not made for turning super quick, but you know the rocker does help out with that a lot. If I was going to have an everyday ski for teaching and doing everything, I'd probably want the Kendo in a 177. So, Bogle Japan, I'll do a review on it if you want to send me a pair for the winter for me to, you know, test out for you guys. I'd love to do that. Next is, this one's a few years old as well, it's the 180, um, you know, recreational GS ski. Just shy of 19 metres. 19 meter radius, which is also another good teaching ski. I like teaching on this ski a lot as well, but I kind of stuffed up the tune on this, so it's um, really hard to break off the edge. I've just tuned it way too sharp and it's a little bit inconsistent. I shouldn't have done the base edge, I should have just let someone, a machine do it or something. Um, and here is the vocal mogul ski. This thing is an absolute weapon for going straight down the moguls. If you want to do a, a bit rounder turns, then I suggest skiing the slalom ski in the moguls, but, you know, if you want to ski World Cup moguls, like World Cup skiers ski moguls, then this is the ski. They've designed it exactly for that, and 
that's how you're meant to ski it. So hopefully this is a bit of a explanation. I get this question all the time on my on my channel. What skis do I use? And this is what I have this year in Japan. I mostly teach on these skis just for the reasons I stated before. If you guys found this helpful, like, subscribe, share, and if you want any more extra information on any of these skis or any of the products that I use, then comment below and I'll try and do a video on it. Alright, until next time guys, bye.